and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Prayer for the 500th anniversary of the arrival of the Santo Nino image in Cebu. Senor Santo Nino de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith. As we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of your miraculous image on our shores, we humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Senor Santo Nino de Cebu, have mercy on us. Intercessory prayer to our Mother of Good Counsel. O Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, you are the first and most faithful of the disciples of Jesus. Our Father chose you to present His Son to the world. Guide me on the path that leads to Him. In this passing world, our hearts are fearful and our judgments uncertain. I come to you for guidance that I may know Jesus and for confidence that I may put all my trust in Him. Instruct me the way of generous giving that I may share His and your love for all. O Mary, the dwelling place of God's wisdom, guide me in all I do and set my footsteps on the way of peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be world without end. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated.
us together and make us feel that we work within us. Let's be gather and may we glorify your name. No, we will that us the Lord begin to worship. Who will be blessed because we can. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I had failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. servants may rejoice in unfailing help of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of the blessed Mary ever virgin may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever amen A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Your descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Through all the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant. Which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Holy word to his servant Abraham, and he lead for this people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen one. The Lord remembers his covenant. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say, for the Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning also to our brothers and sisters who are at home joining with us online hoping and have faith in the Lord. Hoping against hope is a powerful phrase that we need today so that we will remain steadfast with our faith in the Lord Jesus. Our faith should be like Abraham's faith, a faith that never waver, a faith that never stumble, 
a faith that endures in times of trials and temptations. The faith that gifted with promise to be the father of many nations, the promise that has been guaranteed to all his descendants. Saint Paul emphasized this kind of faith to the Roman people who shared the same faith when they received Jesus as the Son of God who gives life to the dead, the life eternal. It is the same faith that we are sharing today as baptized Christians. The faith that we are trying to live every day of our lives. The faith that promises not only to become father of many nations, but to achieve eternity in the kingdom of God, in heaven at the end of time. Can we follow the faith as witnessed by our father Abraham? A faith that drives him out from his land to the land of uncertainty, though he believed to be the land flowing with milk and honey as promised by God. Can we do the same? Can we leave everything behind and follow Jesus because of our faith with him? Today, if we are confronted with our faith to follow Jesus to uncertainties, maybe we will calculate the risk. If the risk is high, then maybe we will back out. If the risk is low, maybe we will go on. But if we see no gain, nor profit, at the end of the tunnel, maybe we will stop and reassess our direction. But mind you, my dear brothers and sisters, faith is not a business nor investment. It is a free gift that produces many other gifts and most importantly, a gift of eternal life. May I share with you my personal experiences with my faith in Jesus. It is my faith in Him that I become a priest. It is my faith in Jesus that resolves my problems. When my family and friends get sick, I ask and pray to God, to Jesus, to heal them and they get well. It is my faith in Jesus that strengthens me when facing challenges and difficulties in my personal and ministerial life. It is my faith with Jesus that I find peace. The same faith that I find my real friends, real people, real love, and real inspiration. It is my faith in Jesus that I find hope when everything seems impossible. It is the same faith that Mary shared with us. When Mary accepted to become the mother of Jesus, when, he said, when she said, yes, Lord, I come to do your will. Though she did not know what will be the consequences of that action, of that acceptance, of that faith, but at the end, Mary was given, given honor because of her faith and because of the Lord Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, it is the faith in Jesus 
that we should hopelessly devoted. What Jesus is telling us in the gospel is no other thing but to have faith in Him, to believe in Him, and to trust in Him. Acknowledge Him before others so that He will acknowledge us before His Father in front of the angels. Though in our weaknesses we speak against Jesus, still He will forgive us. But if we blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, we will not be forgiven. This is the sins against the Holy Spirit that cannot be forgiven. Is that when a believer or a faithful will lose hope in Christ. It is an insult to God to lose our hope in Him because nothing is impossible with God. How could we be forgiven if we do not ask for forgiveness because we already condemned ourselves when we commit sins against God because it is hopeless to think that we will be forgiven by Him. We cannot deny the fact that Jesus already redeemed and forgiven our sins through His death and restored us with eternal life with His resurrection. In this time of pandemic, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a sin to lose hope and give up our faith with Jesus because we experience suffering and pain for the death of our loved ones, because we get sick, because we lost our livelihood, because we lost our job. We have nothing to eat. We are doomed to die. We are exhausted. We have nothing left. Remember the story of Job. When God allowed evils to test his faith, he lost everything except his own life. But still, he managed to say, and I quote, Naked, naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Instead of complaining, my dear brothers and sisters, he praised the Lord. After the trials, numerous and wonderful things he has received from God because he remained faithful. That is the faith that our father Abraham, the faith of Mary, the faith of Job, the faith of our forefathers, the faith of us all baptized Christians. Remember, have faith and hope with Jesus and everything will be all right at the right time at the right place. Amen. Let us all stand. God is our security. Let us express our trust in Him and pray for all the people with whom we make the journey of life. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may continue to proclaim God's word in the face of contradiction and opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may learn to trust in divine providence, no matter how heavily our troubles weigh upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the employed may find work and earn their living with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are burdened with sickness may find comfort in the love and trust of those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may experience merciful judgment and everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the servant of God, Tufalu Kamumud, Bishop, be raised to the altar of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior Son to Ninu, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all indirect patients' care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, help us to always remain faithful to your word so that in our difficulties we may have the strength to persevere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Say the prayer we ask in say the hearts we love you say our lives the oh, Father we are yours we are yours yours as we stand at the table you stand yours as we My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go and answer. No request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just a duty in our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, 
join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Who will proclaim us, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you call again? Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come Forgive 
universe, not to rest, but stairs. As we forgive those that you rest against us. Ooh, ooh. And lead us now into the place but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, each day the light is saved of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, each day the light is saved of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Yeah. 
river and the air.